The Midwest is known to be extreme when it comes to weather. This summer especially has been a hot one, with temperatures as high as 93 in July. When conditions outside are sweltering, things like heat exhaustion and heat stroke become concerns, especially for athletes. Head athletic trainer Emily Osborne says her staff follow common tips to help keep athletes safe. One of the biggest things is paying attention to the hottest points of the day, which tend to be between like 10 and 5. So seeing where that peak is and work out, be outside those windows. That is the easiest way, making sure you take timely breaks, and then before and after you're out of the heat, making sure you're continuing to hydrate um, to replenish or make sure you're well hydrated before you go outside, getting good sleep the day before, um, making sure you have good meals. Senior defender Samuel Marquis from the men's soccer team had an interesting relationship with Midwestern Heat. Coming to America, it's always been one of my biggest challenges. Uh, you know, in England, you have two weeks of summer when it's like a maximum of, I would say, 83 degrees. Coming here, I didn't expect the extreme heat. Uh, I started my journey in Missouri and it was unbelievable, you know, over the summer during the season, playing soccer at 3 p.m. Like the hottest time of the day is, is crazy. Osborne and her staff have tools at their disposal to be able to determine if athletes will be safe while practicing. This is a wet bulb globe temperature meter in less fancy terms. It takes all the environmental conditions and puts it into a more accurate read of what the environmental condition is. It will read humidity, the heat sun intensity, the actual ambient temperature, and then get the breeze. So it takes all those things into consideration to get you the most accurate read of what that temperature is. We can all take a few notes about staying safe in the heat, drink plenty of water, identify areas of shade or AC, and take lots of breaks. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is Colin Eccles.